Here we're going to look at how to rearrange the combined gas equation so that you can solve for any of these variables. Now sometimes this can be a bit of a pain and takes a lot of steps to get uh, to the final point. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by doing two examples with a shortcut, a trick that makes things faster and easier. You may be unfamiliar with this trick. This might be new to you. So I'm going to start with that and then I'm going to do two examples at the end using the more traditional method of doing a lot of multiplication and division so that we can cancel things back and forth. So let's start right out. I am going to show you how I'm going to solve for T2 using the shortcut method. Two things to keep in mind. Whenever we're rearranging equations like this, we need to solve for a variable. We need to make sure that this variable is all by itself on one side of the equation. And the other thing that we need to make sure is, is that the variable is on top of the fraction. Okay, so even if we get it by itself, but it's still at the bottom, that's no good. It has to be by itself and on the top in the numerator. So anyway, T2, solving for this guy. Here's what we do for the shortcut. We cross multiply, which means that we do this times this, P1 times V1 times T2, that was this, equals this multiplied together. So T1 times P2 times V2. Now this is good because right away it gets T1 and T2 out of the denominator, out of the bottom of the fraction, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now everything's on top. So solving for T2, let's divide both sides by P1 and V1 to get rid of them from this side. Divided by P1 times V1, and we have to do the same thing to the other side. Now we have P1 over P1. They cancel out, and we have V1 over V1. So they cancel out, and we're left with T2 equals T1 times P2 times V2 divided by P1 times V1. Let's do one more example with a shortcut method. Here's a combined gas law again, and this time let's solve for V2. I'm going to cross multiply again, so I'm going to do P1 times V1 times T2 equals the cross multiplication of this equals T1 times P2 times V2. Now, we want to get V2 by itself, so let's divide by T1 and by P2 so that we can get rid of those from this side of the equation. Divided by T1 times P2, divided by T1 times P2. These guys are going to cancel out, T1 over T1, P2, P2 cancels out, and we're left with P1 times V1 times T2 divided by T1 times P2 equals V2. Now, you know, sometimes people feel uncomfortable when we have the thing that we're solving for on the right-hand side, right? Because we're used to saying V2 equals this. And so sometimes people don't like it when they say this equals V2. You know what? It's totally fine. You can flip it. If you prefer, we can just write V2 equals P1 times V1 times T2 divided by T1 times P2. Never worry if you've gotten the variable all by itself on one side, but it just happens to be the right side. Just flip it around if you'd rather have the variable you're solving for be on the left. Okay, so those are the two examples where we use this cross multiplication method for the shortcut. If this makes you a little uncomfortable, or if maybe your teacher wants you to use a more traditional method, now we're going to do two problems where we do uh, a number of steps of multiplication and division. So, I'm going to start out by solving for P1. We want to get P1 by itself. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get this T1 out of the bottom of the fraction. And to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by T1 on top. So now we have T1, and you know you can sort of imagine that this fraction line goes over here. Now I have T1 on the top and on the bottom, so we get rid of the T1 on this side. And we're left with P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2 times T1 divided by T2. Okay? The next thing that I want to do, since I'm solving for P1, is to get rid of the V1 that's up here. So I'm going to divide both sides by V1. And now I add V1 to the bottom of the fraction there. So I have V1 over V1, and those cancel out. And I'm left with P1 equals P2 
times V2 times T1 divided by T2 times V1. OK, one more example here. Oh, and look, I made a mistake here. This should say, uh, this should say T1 there instead of T2. So that's what I want to be solving for. I want to be solving for T1. Now, if you remember, I said earlier that we can never solve for something if it's in the bottom of the fraction, OK? So the first thing that I need to do is get this guy out of the bottom of the fraction. Well, how can I get it out of the bottom of the fraction? I can multiply T1 by both sides, both sides by T1. And then we get rid of it from this side, but it ends up on the top over here. So then we're OK, because now it's not on the bottom of the fraction anymore. So we rewrite this, P2 times V2 times T1 divided by T2, OK? So now I have it here, and I need to get it alone. So I need to move all of these guys to the other side. So I'll get rid of the T2 out of the denominator first, although it doesn't really matter what order you do this in. So I'll multiply both sides by T2. And now I have T2 on the bottom and T2 multiplied on the top. And now I have T2 times P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2 times T1. Getting so close, finally I can divide P2 times V2 to get them out of here to get T1 by itself. Do that to the other side. P2 over P2, they cancel out. V2 over V2, they cancel out. And I'm going to do this in two steps. I obviously have gotten rid of these guys. So I could write it as this equals T1. But just to show you that I can flip it, I'm going to write it as T1 equals T2 times P1 times V1 divided by P2 times V2. That's just if you prefer to have the variable alone that you're solving for on the left side. Just remember that you can always flip it. So that's how we um, rearrange the combined gas law. Now, I didn't do examples with all six of these variables. I only did it with four. But based on the techniques that I used, the shortcut technique at first, or this more traditional method, you should be able to figure out how to solve for any of these, any of these variables that you need to.